All right, so boom, this a podcast, podcast, boom and chaos show season, motherfucking nine. Oh man, we done took another long ass hiatus. It's been like a good three and a half weeks. But if y'all ain't peeped the color scheme and the theme song, we had to make this a NWO Wolfpack theme this season to pay tribute to Sky Hall. So instead of this being the typical, Hell yeah, instead of this being the typical uh, Linus Clays and Sonny Weems show. We had to turn it into the Hovatool Guerrero and Lex Luger show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm just waiting to tell I'm Hakeem Hadadi, nigga. That's, that's, that's all, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all that. That's when I got to give up this shit. I ain't going to hold you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to ever run out of uh, obscure players to talk about. It's tons of those niggas, bro. Hell no, nah, nigga. <laughs> Hell no, nah, it's not. But for sure, R.I.P. Sky Hall. You know what I'm saying? Shit, this this, this season is gonna be the Hoover Two Carrera and Lex Luger show. So we get we got to but y'all don't understand. Throughout this past three and a half months, we didn't both came up with tons of shit to talk about. If anything, the stuff we talk about in season ten gonna be shit that we didn't had like in our notes from this season <laughs> that we just couldn't get to. <laughs> Hell yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's too much shit to talk about. I don't know what the fuck going on in the rap world. Every two days, somebody got cheated on and somebody getting depressed and shit is this this shit's getting crazy. Man, speaking of not what's going on, bro, the streets don't know what's going on with you. What's been going on with all the culture that dude and been going for two months, bro? You dropped your Isaiah Rashad video, and other than your song that you dropped recently, you've been you've been gone since then, bro. What's going on? Um, well, uh, I was going to share this in a, in a video, in a solo video and kind of, you know what I'm saying? Talk about it somewhat, but, uh, I, I, I feel comfortable talking about it here. Um, so honestly, uh, where I'm at and I, I'm not one to, you know, be into superstitions and shit like that, but, uh, I, I didn't like the vibe that I was getting out of my community. I didn't like the vibe that I was getting out of my surroundings. Um, I didn't at all, you know, feel at all like I was progressing in life. You know, it, it, life is all about progression and happiness. And Hey, listen, bro, and, I'm, so, and I'm so glad that you said that, that you brought up the progression and you didn't feel like you was progressing in life thing. I'm glad that you said that because <laughs> you're, you're already know I'm not saying this to be mean, but the very beginning of your answer, when you was talking about your surroundings, your neighborhood, I, in my mind, I was like, what the fuck does I have to do with your YouTube channel, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to say it I didn't want to come up as, like, mean as fuck. But in my mind, I was like, bro, like, what, what that got to do with your YouTube channel? <laughs> oh, for sure, yeah. No, nah, um, life, if my life ain't going well, that means my YouTube career can't go That makes go perfect on. sense, though, for sure. Because it's like, why am I about to put on a smile? And then, like, when I turn off the camera, like, I'm just about to go through hell, like, I'd rather just go through hell and then get myself in a better place so that YouTube can also flow as well. Because truth be told, a lot of times that I was doing YouTube, a lot of the videos that I did do, like I wasn't in a good place. I wasn't in a correct mindset or anything of the sort. You know what I'm saying? So it was like I had to get off, I had to get off and away from everything. Like I wouldn't text nobody. Like I, I, I didn't cut nobody off, but by me not saying shit, People just took it upon themselves to just dip out my life and shit. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not a I'm not a deceitful, nasty person like I used to be. And I, I you know what I'm saying? Most people wouldn't even admit that they used to be a specific way. But like usually when people would leave my life, I would just spite the fuck out of them and shit like that and be like, Yeah, well, I'm succeeding in spite of you, bitch, blah, blah, blah. You yeah. know, like it's not it's not even like that, man. Like I understand. You know, like, you know, you don't want to be around somebody that's going through hell, like, all day, every day. You don't want to hear about, you know, people don't want to hear about you bitching all the time. And then when you're not talking to them, it's like, you know, they don't, some people don't feel compelled to be that hand reaching out to pick you up off the ground. It's just like, okay, well, hit me back up when you want to do something fun type shit. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, it's like, so. shit. Um, um, the, thing, the, thing is real quick right. you, the thing is real quick before you continue, like, the second part of what you, like, you just got done saying. Cause that's how I am when it comes to like me and my own homies and my friends. Cause I'm I'm somebody that believes if a person actually cared about <clears throat> cared about your opinion on something and they actually like trusted your word on something, then they would ask you like for advice or for help. Like if one of my homies like needed my help for something, they would be like, hey, "Yo, Amira, like, I gotta talk to you about something serious. Like, yo, can you like I'm going through some shit. Can you help me with this?" 
because and that because the fact that you reaching out to me to me that shows that you like value my opinion you actually need help from me. but people who just like how can i phrase this the best way like people who just who they, who they, they don't say shit to me like they they upset like they ain't talking to nobody and they don't say shit to me i'm gonna feel like ain't nothing wrong with you either that or i'm gonna feel like you don't care about my opinion because if you needed my help you would have asked me like you know what i mean if a person is like sitting right. back waiting for me to say something to them then it's like, well, clearly you don't care about my opinion that much. Because if you want to talk to me, you would have told me what's going on. Right, right. And honestly, like, how my life has been, like, I know I've had some go-tos. And you know how it is with go-tos. Like, they hear, they hear, yeah, they, like, they go, they, they go, like, you go right to them at first for every problem. And it's like, oh, fuck. Like this nigga hurt. Oh, here we go. Like I gotta get my notepad out to be this nigga. <laughs> say, oh, fix here it. Here we go. What's wrong yeah, with this I gotta, nigga? I, yeah, I gotta fix your problems once a fucking again. Like I, I've been like that with multiple people. And to be fair, um, with some people it gets redundant because their problems are more reoccurring than others. And with some, it's like it happens every so often. So I feel more like you know what I'm saying free and patient with those people. But I learned how to just take it all in stride and to learn how to just like be like, okay, you know, like it, it is what it is. People are going to go through hell. It, it got to a point in my life where I was like, that happiness forever shit is a fucking facade. Oh, no one's sure. happy. No one's happy forever. No one suffers forever. You're suffering so you can find out how to be happy. And you're happy only because you've learned how to, how to, uh, oversee suffering you you know what i'm saying you go through pain and what and you have to you have to go through pain to know how to heal you're not just going to heal not going through shit you're just going you know what i'm saying you got to scrape your damn knee to know when you know what i'm saying yeah it's i it's, got two it, perfect points to say to that one of them <clears throat> one of them may even be an unpopular opinion but like you kind of say everybody goes through ups and downs happiness and sad times like ain't nobody happy to all fucking day every day I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion or not, but I don't trust people who are like that. People who are just happy all the fucking time. They all they quote unquote are always in a good mood. Those type of people, I don't, I don't like being around those people. It's like I ain't trying to make it seem like <laughs> that I'm embracing the devil and no shit like that. But right. people who people who are just always preaching like positivity, they always happy about everything, like and they make it seem like they have no issues in their life. Those are the, the people I don't be the trust. Saddest. Yeah, they be the saddest. But that's the second point I was gonna make. Those are the people that be end up committing suicide and shit like the Robin Williams stuff of the right. world, the people who be the happiest, the most cheerful, you would never think nothing wrong with them. Those are the people where, put put them in their house by themselves. They're going to be depressed as a motherfucker. Hell yeah. So I don't, I don't trust people like that, bro. Like, it may, cause another thing that I preach in life too, and I learned this shit back in high school, it don't matter who you are, nobody in the world is going to get along with everybody that they meet. That's Hell the bottom yeah. fucking line. You can be the nicest person, the sweetest person in the universe. You can be the meanest person in the universe. It don't matter. There is somebody you're going to meet at some path in your life that's not going to fuck with you. It might be a deep reason. It might be a very minute and petty reason. But some people are going to be like, eh, nah, I don't, I don't fuck with Amir, bro. Or, nah, I don't fuck with Corey. They're going to have a reason why they don't like you. And, and funny enough, like, I've come to the realization, and it, I, it hit me real late. I'm 25 years old, so this shit hit me super, super fucking late. But loyalty is both underestimated and overrated and i, I i've shared oh, this, this is a new one for me i'm gonna need you to explain this that's a new phrase yeah like this yeah it's overrated and it's underestimated you could give years to some people and they still will they will feel less compelled to help you out over time no matter how <laughs> strong your bond is True it doesn't matter hell. it doesn't matter how fucking long like like i I got somebody that I've known for fucking or, or shit. I'll use my cousin, for instance. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he listens to the podcast anymore. I've known that man my entire life. We've basically been boys for forever. We don't fucking talk anymore. We we basically not even, you know what I'm saying? I don't associate myself with that man. He doesn't associate himself with me. Loyalty is overrated. That man has checked on me more times than I can count. And I've checked on him more times than I can count. But what does that mean now? If, now that we're not talking to each other. All that shit you could say was for nothing, but not really, because we take these lessons and 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 we and we put them, we connect the dots with everything. It's underestimated because you don't fucking know who to trust anymore. You don't right. know who to fuck. You don't know who to trust. I go up to a new person and give that motherfucker five hundred dollars and tell him hold that shit till tomorrow. 
I'm not even doing that shit because nobody, <laughs> I, can't, I can't look at nobody and say, oh, he looks trustworthy. No, no, nobody looks trustworthy. You know, unless, unless we've had a conversation, unless I know the type of person you are. That's why it's both underrated and uh, or overrated and underestimated because like both those examples collide together. I can know you and you could still be like the stranger that just takes my money and fucking dips off. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it, it, yeah, that's like how it is with my community. This is exactly why I've been so disconnected from YouTube and social media. When I see my phone give me the notification saying that, oh, you, uh, <laughs> you've only you've only used your phone for a combined four hours and thirty one minutes, I was like, yeah, <laughs> I ain't been doing shit. I, have, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't talking to anybody. I wasn't texting anybody. I wasn't on the phone with nobody. Uh, social media became a less of a, you know what I'm saying, of a commodity in my life. Uh, you know, it was just straight work, sleep, and work, eat. Barely even eating. Like, I think it was a point in my life where I was like too, like, look, I think last month, as a matter of fact, man, I was like 260 pounds. I never hit that mark before. 260 reaching to good, damn near 270. There's a lot of factors into that, but Shit, not because my life because you're somebody that's uh that's like currently going through this, or at least you were like a month or two ago. I can. This is a good question to ask. <clears throat> so when you reach those periods where you're just like, I'm barely on the internet, I'm barely interacting with folks, I'm just to myself. Like, what out of a hundred? Like, what percentage would you say that was helpful for you, and then it was like detrimental to you? Like, what would you just full blown enjoying that shit? It was like, yeah, but I don't need nobody, all that kind of shit. Or were there points where you was like, damn, I miss making YouTube videos or I miss talking to people? Like, what percentage was like you was like, you enjoyed it and then it was like detrimental, would you say? I say, I, I'll give that shit 80%. 80% enjoyment. 80%. It, so it, those are, moments are, you was hitting that 20%, how was that? How was that feeling? Were you just thinking about some of your friends? Like, like, damn, like it's kind of fucked up. I don't want to talk to them. Were you thinking about YouTube? Like, shit, man, I actually miss making videos. Like, what was that 20% feeling like? Um, not even it was more harmful. Like the the 80 is helpful, the the 20 was harmful. And I say that because I could take a break from YouTube whenever and not feel, you know, what I'm saying too bad about it because I know most of my uh subscriber base is gonna wait. Like I've only really lost five subscribers. That's that's cool. Like I'm I'm fine with that. That just means them people didn't need to be here anyways. Um, it was helpful because I learned how to make my myself my own best friend, and people have so much reliance on social media and other people's words and opinions and shit. People will go to some social media pages sometimes to look up quotes. To help them go through, uh, to help them in life, and and, and you know what I'm saying, captions and shit. yeah, and, and download <laughs> calm apps and shit like that to to help them sleep at night. It's like I I didn't want to do that. Like if I can't wake up and be my own calm app, if I can't wake up and be my own quote and say certain shit to make myself feel better, like I'm just gonna keep on going through those moods because those things aren't gonna be around forever. Some people don't know who you are; they're just saying things to everybody. No, oh, I know me. I know myself better than anyone on this planet. So if I can't make myself happy, who the fuck? Why the fuck do I trust everybody else in any in any other source to make me happy? Sure. Yeah, that, that shouldn't even be a thing. So it was eighty percent helpful because I realized, like, yeah, like I I am now like with this break, with that break, I became my biggest and best out. I've been making money. I've been making good money. I've been Talk your shit. I've been, you know what I'm saying? I'm making good money and spending it on great investments. I'm going to move into another spot on the 27th and with money that I, I splurge and put down on that shit and paid for myself. Like, all the shit that any, on any, up, any, up, on <laughs> on Not, I got a piece of the I was about to do the little, uh, the claps, but <laughs> 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 I ain't trying to fuck my mic up. So, uh, Shit. Um, yeah, man. Um, all the trolling that I used to go through, like I used to, that shit used to hit me in some degree. But now, man, when you do your own shit, like these kids can say whatever the fuck they want. You're using your, your Wi-Fi, you're using your mom's Wi-Fi in her basement. 
I'm going to be using my Wi-Fi and the shit that I paid for. My Wi-Fi that I'm paying. You know what I'm saying? I don't even need to take the... And, I, and that was the problem with me. I was being too on one side. And everybody remembers when I announced, oh, I'm going to be more positive and all that shit. It didn't happen like that. No. What's best for me is this. I'm just going to be myself. <laughs> it's just organic. Be myself. Just talk. Just be myself. People don't fuck with how I speak those are not people i should be around anyways why should i just change because of some person that i met two fucking months ago like if you're not gonna be a lifer and i even really then, met that somebody used like talk to over the internet or some shit <laughs> yeah it's like you know what i'm saying like like you for instance i know you i've seen you we've hung out it a hurt if i i lost a nigga like you you know what i'm saying or pause uh-huh. it lost a, you know lost it shut the hell up it lost a, <laughs> uh, a goddamn a fucking like a friend like you you know what i'm saying because that 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 hurts because we We've had those talks. We've had those conversations and shit like that. And and, and and you've helped me through shit. I tried to help you through shit. Um, it, it's it's that would hurt. But losing a motherfucker. Oh, I was gonna say a specific person's name, but losing a losing a uh, you know what I'm saying a um like a, a nigga, you know uh somebody that I met a month ago, and we go through some shit. Like I'm and I say something that offends them. Like. Uh, shit. Um, <laughs> I would be offended back in the day that Samar Savage unfollowed me on Twitter and shit. I'd be like, why the fuck did you do that? Oh my yeah. God. It's like, oh, I'm going to beef with you. I'm about to make a diss track on your punk ass. Like, it's not even like that no more. That nigga just don't. Be, oh, how did you see him unfollow you? Fuck with, so just stop. Example? No, he dead ass didn't unfollow me. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing yes, that as one, one, one of our guests. Yes, one of the guests, one of the people that we've interviewed that we've had last with, found it, took it upon himself to unfollow me. Uh, I unfollowed him too. Uh, he can, he confronted me about me. that shit one day because I because I like never follow him on social media. I forgot what we was talking about, but he had randomly said he was like, uh, "Like, bro, you don't you don't follow me on Twitter anymore." I was like, "Anymore? Like, bro, I never followed you on here." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have my reasons I, for I why follow- I barely follow anybody. Like on Twitter, I follow five people, and I think even on Instagram, I follow five or six people. I have reasoning for that, and I'm gonna get to that like later on. I wanted to quickly go back to what you were saying about like the trust thing, like trusting people. Uh, mm-hmm. And I'm, this is one, this is a life lesson that uh, I feel like a lot of people should like go by. I'm one of those people where I don't put anything past anybody at motherfucking all. Like I've had moments where I feel out with my own mama and I don't even trust my own mama when it comes to a lot of shit, bro. And that's how you know a person's trust or distrust for people is steep. If they don't trust their own parents or just one of their parents, that they really not gonna trust nobody else. So for me, like uh how I said I don't put nothing past nobody. When people, you know how people when they say they start a sentence by saying, Do I look like the type of person that would blank? For me, it don't matter what you put in that blank, the answer is gonna be yes. <laughs> I swear to God, the answer is gonna be yes. <laughs> that goes that goes to anybody I know, like uh like throughout my YouTube years, that goes for any person I know in real life. Like if I was I don't even I can't I can't think of no examples right now, but just for any reason, if I tell somebody, no, nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave this with you because I wanted to be secure, like do I like the type of person that would take yes, nigga, you do. <laughs> but I, I don't I don't trust you, my guy. And it's not it's not Shit. that like I have any personal vendetta against like the person I'm talking to. It's not like I'm looking at them and saying you a whole ass untrustworthy nigga. It's not even that. It's just simply I only have like a few people like in this world that I trust. So if anybody was to come to me, it was like, oh, hold on, but why you don't want me to look after it? You, well, you have like I'm gonna steal it or something. Do I like the type of thing that I would steal? Like, yes, you do. I've never seen you steal anything in your life, but I feel like you would steal some shit. <laughs> and I and, and, and if anyone was to say that to me, like uh shit, I'm for real not the nigga to make blind accusations. Like if I'm gonna say, if I'm gonna say, hey, bro, like I ain't gonna lie, blah, 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 and you say some. Oh, do I look like that? And I don't answer. You already know what my answer is going to be. Like I'm not even right. trying to hurt your feelings. I, I ain't gonna say it just to keep your fucking. You know what I'm saying? Everything straight. Because I, yeah, it, it be I, your I, own people, bro. That's one of the, that's one of the most truest phrases we have in society. Like quote unquote, it be your own people. It's people that trust they they dearest closest friends or trust their family with shit, and they get backstabbed or did dirty. 
So it just makes you look like, damn, bro, if I can't trust my own sister, if I can't trust my own auntie, uncle, whoever, I can't trust nobody. Cause yeah, bro, it'd be your own people. So it's like, and for me, like the reason, cause, like, somebody may be hearing me saying this and going, oh my God, who hurt you? For me, it, it started with my mom. I was like, like I said, I'll, I don't even trust my mom with a lot of stuff. So <laughs> if somebody was to say who hurt me, that would be my answer. But like, it's, I look at my own mom and be like, yeah, I don't put that past you. You seem like the type of lady that would do some shit like that. So I look at that. I look at that <laughs> mindset towards everybody. It's like, do I look at that person? Yes. I even, you even let me finish. It don't matter. Nigga, the answer is yes. You look at the type of person that would do that. Exactly. And be a, shit. Be closest people that I, would backstab you. So, yes, I don't put nothing past nobody. Oh, yeah. Hey, shit. No one's ever killed. Anyone Anyone that's ever killed somebody has only killed someone that they've hated or loved. It's one of the two. You don't kill random niggas. I mean, I guess you do. If you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I suppose.